Hey, Calvin down friends, how y'all doing? It's Southern Sunday Lunch here. I'm John, and this is Mama. Say hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. We're getting ready to mix up one of our favorites, one of our traditions, one of the things you've seen us do a hundred times, but I got something today you ain't never seen us do because I ain't never done it. Mama's making up meatloaf. Mama, tell me about your meatloaf. I'm going to put eggs and breadcrumbs and uh, uh, Southern Secret and... Uh, Fancy steakhouse seasoning in it. He's going to cut now the onion, and right now he's opening up some tomato sauce. And I put salt and pepper, and I guess that's a greenery. Uh, be about all we have. Peas and mashed peas. potatoes. Mm -hmm. You mean peel the mashed potatoes for you? Well, when you get the onion cut, you can do. I'm you just work doing, on your stuff. Huh? I'm just doing my chores. Is what yeah. I'm doing. So all I'm going to do is put a little. Cream. I use a little cream in it. And Mama, can you see the little lady in there? Yeah. Two eggs. I'm check them like you. Check them like me? Are you actually doing something like me, Mama? Yeah. I'm so happy. Check them like you. Now I'm going to put some salt and pepper. You really can check them that way. Yeah, you can see if they're going to be good or not. And I'm going to pour just a part of this tomato sauce in here. And stir it up. You need the whisk? Okay. No, not now. Uh -uh. It's, it's, it's not that good. I better get on the bowl here. Copy time. Mm, we'll have to wait for a minute. Mama, that does not look too good on top. I'll chop, chop that off. Oh, it's beautiful. Maybe there wasn't nothing wrong with this. It was just me being, look, it just looks a little funky there. Yeah. I think it's fine. I'm going to take the root end off and I'm going to go there and plant it tomorrow. Or today. It's, we got time. They usually we plant them the next day because it's late when we're cooking. Yeah. Hope y'all had a good day already. We had a good church service. We did. Had a great service. Great time. All I'm doing is just breaking up some light bread putting it in here that's what's going to be my filler you can use bread crumbs or oatmeal or whatever you want some people use some kind of oatmeal is it quick oats or yeah instant oats they call it cooks in a minute my yeah. mommy used bread crumbs so mostly i use bread crumbs well bread crumbs is good in it she used to buy hamburger meat and and uh, she'd break up bread crumbs in and eat it and fix it. And I thought that's why you're supposed to fix it. it I liked it in it. And, and to make uh, hamburgers, you mean? It to make hamburgers, yeah. And uh, I didn't realize when I was young that that was just her way of stretching the meat further and making it go further for all us kids. And well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. But it was good. I liked the bread in it. I still like a hamburger. You do that every once in a while. Yeah. So what are y'all up to? It looked a little overcast earlier. Like, well, we get some rain, but it's not. And it's a beautiful A-B day out there. It was cool this morning. And a little cooling will hurt us. Here's a half of a gallon of onion. Is that going to be enough? Yeah. You all can put more in yours. Mama just don't, we don't, I mean, these will be cooked and they're probably fine for it. It's early in the day. But I'll lay that over there and we'll put it up. Now they can put it on you and let them watch you. This is put it on me and let them watch me. Yeah, this is all I'm going to do. Well, Mama, you ain't near done. Well, that's all I'm going to do is this and. You want me to peel potatoes? Fix on your dessert or whatever you call it, side dish. I'll wipe the onion off from that, but I ain't going to use it on my pineapple. And I'll flip my board over because I don't want to cross onions and pineapples for some reason. I'm not feeling that adventuresome. Okay. I don't know. I feel like maybe I won't do that. Yeah, Mama, you're going to have to sell me another purple knife. Can I purchase one from the, from the store? No, from the... Uh, Tupperware lady. Yeah, I've got another one out there. Because I can... I'm sometimes need too. 
No, 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 no. I'll use this for this pineapple. I'm making something totally new today. A friend of mine sent me this recipe. You know, I asked you all, what can I do with this pineapple? I know that I bought a kit resist bind that does on sale that's ready to go. And I thought, I, will, I, I knew if nothing else, I was going to chop it up and eat it. But we're doing a dessert today out of this here pineapple. Look at here. Now I'm going to plant this. Some of y'all told me I could. He said, John, plant it about an inch down, she said. I'm listening. And I'm going to plant that. And it might grow a pineapple. Who knows? Oh, I read on there where it said to, uh, you was talking about the avocado yeah. seeds. I seen where it says grow an avocado tree in a pot. And we threw those seeds away. Oh, no, I'll save them over here. Oh, uh, we're going to plant them in a pot then. What we do with them? They're laying right here. I mean, what do we do? Plant them in a the pot and they make a bush? It says it'll make the avocado tree. And it said to go on and read further, but i never done that. So I if I can grow my own avocados in the house and eat them, that'll be something. Can you do that here and where we live? I don't know. I didn't read all the whole story. Now, I don't know how y'all do this. Some of y'all probably did better and I even bought a special core one time that you all that business and I'm sure that would work because it did work. In fact, I tried it once. This is the way I do it. Now, you can boil these pieces and make a tea and it'll help with a cough. You can make like a cough drop, a cough syrup. I just cut it deep enough that I get all these little brown things. But you can boil these and you can do, I've seen it done. I've never done it, but I've seen them do it. But I'm gonna plant the top and I might boil these. Don't know. If it would make something would help a cough, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Now, I know there's a core in here. A core, a core. And I have some core herbs. Now, let's Is that see if big I enough? I don't know, Mama. It'll get a good portion of it. So, we're just going to take the little core. Take the core, because it's just a hard core, and I don't think we want to eat it. There it is. Just take him out. I don't know, you might be able to eat it. Is it hard? It's a little tough. Ain't gonna lie about that. A little tough, so I'm gonna take some of the juice off. This is called, here we go. All right, so it, this is air fryer. So this is totally air fryer. So this is air fry sweet caramelized pineapple. Then to make it even more whatever, you put chili lime dip if you want to. And I want to. So I'm gonna make up a little chili lime dip with this air fryer pineapple. I'm gonna cut this pineapple in three pieces. So I'm just going to cut all the way down. One. I'm going to cut about right there. Two. Then I'm going to cut this in half. Make me three. See how that's working out for us? This sounds wonderful. We're, going, we're trying it here together. Now I'm just going to slice it just like this. I'm so tempted to eat a big old chunk of it, but I guess I can resist. Take it, I should taste it for quality control. Yeah. There's one of them little brown eyes. Like a potato eye. Well, let's taste it. Mom said it could. Mom see it. Mom see it. It's delicious. Now, I only need two cups. So, I'm going to have a little left. So, let me get... Two cups worth here. I 
I really don't know how you measure. Cups. Well, it appears that one third of this is a cup. So into our little bowl, it goes. And mama, if you want to put this in a Tupperware, we'll save this chunk maybe for something else. Well, I might give you another little chunk because this is a big chunk. We're going to slice this up. So it appeared that one of these thirds made a whole cup of water. Minus the one little piece of egg. So in the bowl, this all goes. This is the recipe. Now I'm not going to veer from this recipe too much because I've never made it. Now the next time I make it, you may say, John, you made that last time, you made some changes. I may, I may not. Depends on what I think I like. Now see, that'll be right there fresh and ready to go. For maybe a sandwich or something this week. All right. I pick up fresh pineapple all the time because I love it and it's good for you and it's good for a cough. Did y'all know that fresh pineapple, Mama, if you don't care, hand me your dish rag right there with a hole. Yeah. Because I have baptized everything else in pineapple. And pineapple juice. Yeah. It's serious. That core might be good to like to <laughs> try it again, fam. <laughs> no, it's not. Thank you, Mama, for the dish rag. Okay, let's get to business and quit fooling around. Mama's making meatloaf. She'll have that meatloaf made and the potatoes done until I get this little dessert done. Here is the, I'm going to read it to you. You see, you go, oh my goodness, John, that sounds good. Because you're going to have to admit it sounds good. Even if you don't like pineapple. Now, you could probably use this with, I would guess, peaches, apples, whatever you want to use. It's two cups of sliced pineapple. One tablespoon of butter melted, two teaspoons of maple syrup, can't go wrong with that, can you? And one teaspoon of cinnamon, you can't go wrong with that either, can you? No. Mama's meatloaf, look, let's look at her meatloaf over here. Mama, show me meatloaf. She's putting it in the macro pro grill. Yeah, it's got it mixed up with all her seasonings. seasonings and everything. And she's just patting it in there solid. Uh, and that's going to be ready for us in about 20 minutes. I'm going to put it on the grill and bottle. This, this is the thing about the Micro Pro Grill, and it's not on sale right now that I know of. So, And it is expensive, but it saves time. And Ooh, like I, I said, I'm not trying to sell it because it's on sale yeah. right now. But a lot of y'all ask. You put it on the the uh, cast, or the or uh, grill mode. No, you put a whole, whole meatloaf in there. Mm. All right. So here's our pineapple. I'm going to get our other ingredients. I think I've got everything except the butter. Two, one tablespoon of butter melted. Two tablespoons of maple syrup and one teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to use this little cup right here and put my butter in there. I'll be right back. What do you need? Butter. I can get it. Here. You going to do it? It just, it's got to go in the microwave. How much you need? One tablespoon. So this has got a little pineapple on it. Pineapple butter would be good, I'm sure. So I'm going to put one tablespoon of butter in there. Now I'm going to put... I'm going to put two tablespoons of maple syrup. Now this is just pancake syrup, but it's maple flavor. And I'm going to just eyeball this out. One little... Two little tablespoons of maple syrup. I know y'all said, John, you don't measure. I don't. Um, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, I've got, that's for the other dish. I've got y'all's cinnamon sugar, but this needs 100% cinnamon. A teaspoon, right? So let's grab our cinnamon. I put it out, didn't I? Did you? I thought, sure, I set it out somewhere. Right there it is laying down. Oh, I was looking for, never mind. You locked it over. Well, I seen that, but I thought that was cinnamon sugar, too. 
No. That's There's just no hesitant. This thing. is just cinnamon. Plain cinnamon. This is cinnamon that you all sent us, organic cinnamon, and I put it in this little thing so Mama could have it lower for her cinnamon toast. Um, that's before we got the water. Yeah, that was before, before we got that. I'm just going to twerk the whisk almost. Okay, let me get a measure. Cinnamon is one of those things I tend to overgo. So I'm going to do it right. One teaspoon of cinnamon. This is an eighth of a teaspoon, a fourth of a teaspoon, one teaspoon. To me, a teaspoon is harder for me to eyeball for some reason because I think tiny, then I think that's too much, but that right there is the right amount right there, one teaspoon. You have to know your weaknesses, know your strengths, know your weaknesses. I like this because it's got a natural leveler. You just dip in that and then pull it across there and you get natural leveling. So one teaspoon of cinnamon exactly going in. Now this is for the pineapple folks. All this that I'm doing here is going to be for the pineapple. Now that better soft stuff, but we're still going to we're going to put in the microwave just long enough to melt it. So this is maple syrup butter. It's like a pickle pancake. It's like a cinnamon pancake syrup. Because this is maple. Is it cow for chili? That's the chili lime dip, Mama. I may not put that butter in there because it was soft and it's just mixing up really nice. I might put it in there. I don't know. What do y'all think? Yeah, it's too long, too. You talking with your friends or are you talking to yourself? Um, with the friends, Mama. Or myself. I don't know. I debated back. I think it's too lumpy. See, it's lumpy. Let's put it in there for just a second. You, you got that other in the microwave. I'll set it on top. I'll set it on top. Tastes great. Tastes absolutely delicious. So this is going to caramelize this pineapple. And I'm going to step over here and turn the uh, Easy Bake on 350. Hold on just a second. I'll be back. Mama, could you go there and sing and dance so I get through? I can't sing and dance. You may have to. This is taking me a minute. And I'm going to turn the convection on. And I'm going to get a small pan. Mama? You're doing the air fryer? Yeah. You have to have that bed. Yeah. Well, I'll get it. and I need a sheet of uh, parchment. Parchment paper, please. Mama hides stuff because she don't want me in here messing up. And I don't know where her stuff is. Oh, I guess like she really don't hide it. I guess I just keep finding it. So here we go with this dessert. It said this was a dessert or a side dish, and I'm sure this would be something I would love, love with ham. It would be, now here it is, all mixed up. See, and it's good and melty. Over the pineapples it goes. Oh, who would have thunk it? But you could take a pineapple and make it taste even better with so few of ingredients. Now, you just want to mix all this in, make sure everybody gets in the pool. This and parchment paper is just a little bit for that. But you can I can it cut up. it down if you need to, Mama. You just want to make sure everybody gets in the pool. Everybody gets covered. Just like this. So that's our pineapple. Let's review the ease of that, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and just tell you. If you don't have a fresh pineapple, get some pineapple rings and do the same thing. 
try it. It would be good. Get you some chunk pineapples and try this. I don't know about anything else. Like, I don't think tid, well, tidbits might be okay, but crushed would probably be hard to air fry. This is two cups of sliced fresh pineapple. But I'm just gonna say pineapple because if I didn't have fresh, I'd try it with canned. One tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of maple syrup. I know there's maple syrup other than pancake syrup, but that's what I had and that was easy. I'm looking for a flavor here for folks. One teaspoon of cinnamon. That's all that's in here. Look at that caramelized pineapple. This is going to be delicious. Now you want to set this aside, it said, for a few minutes and let all that do. But because we're on a little time constraint, I'm just going to coat it well and then I'm going to put it on the parchment paper. Because the time I let it set and do all that, y'all may not get to see the finished result. And I do want you to go to see it. Okay. So let's go ahead and wait setting for a few minutes here. And I'm just going to cut this parchment paper off. Because it doesn't quite fit the basket. And it'll be flopping and carrying them or something. Now it fits. And that's all I did. Just line my parchment paper. Line my air fryer with a little parchment paper. I don't know. You may not be supposed to do that. I'll just work here. It's got that soap all over it. It'll have to have something. But one hint, don't dump this on there. It said to spoon each piece out on there and it would take away some of that excess juice. So we're just going to do what it said. And I'm just going to spoon each piece out here. I'm going to hold my bow like this. Do y'all keep seeing it? I'm going to hold my bow like this so some of that will drain down in there. And then as I pull each piece out, it'll lessen the amount of extra juice so once they've done a little bit then i can just add another this is going to make a whole tray folks this two little cups of pineapple is going to make a whole tray i'm telling you it smells cinnamony it smells maple syrupy pineapple it smells like a dessert that's already been made it, it smells like a fresh cake or something out of the oven it's starving me to death Mama, you think you'll like this dessert? I don't know. I don't see you doing much lime chili dip. No, I don't But you never know, Mama. Your taste buds are growing and awakening every day. Oh, yeah. They're coming alive. Come alive at 75. I'm 74. You. They won't be alive till my birthday. Her taste buds, she is starting to venture out a little bit. She ate that salsa the other night and claimed it to be good, didn't you, Mama? Yeah. What else? And you tasted of the guac and didn't like spit and splutter. She didn't eat none of it, but she did taste it. I tasted it. Before she wouldn't even taste it. She said, I ain't tasting anything. It looks that nasty. Now see, by following the rules, I did not put all that much on there. Can y'all see that? So, and I'm gonna say that because it's clean. I, you know, it ain't nothing. It's not being any raw chicken or nothing like that. So that I'm gonna say, just may pour it over top. This goes in the oven until caramelized and, and brown, and it says about 20, 25 minutes. I'll see. So, Mama, I don't think I've changed it to air fry. I'll get changed to air fry. Yes, please. Those are going in. Y'all see them before, and I'll let you see them after I burn them up in a minute, probably. I'm going to cut them up too. We're just going with the facts, folks. How many minutes did you say? I said 20 minutes. We'll check it. I'm going to add my own little thing. I said I was going to go with the rules, but you know. That's probably just time because I'm going to add a little bit of our y'all's cinnamon sugar. Just a, just a sprink sprink. 
I mean, not that the pineapple probably needs any more sweetening, but it, I just don't. You don't have to. That is the pineapple. Air fry, it says sweet caramelized pineapple, air fry. I think it's gonna be great. Put the pineapple in the bowl and coat it with the ingredients. Folks, that's a simple, if this turns out to be great, you couldn't ask for a simpler little thing. Two cups of sliced pineapple, one tablespoon of butter, melted, two tablespoons of maple syrup, heated if you wanna melt the butter with it, one teaspoon of cinnamon and coat your pineapples with it and put them in an air fryer for about 20 minutes. You can't beat that. Now we're gonna make the chili lime dip. This one is a quick and easy little dip too. So let's get us a little dip bowl here. I'm just gonna use this measuring cup. So this is a little bit, Mom, do I have to use this mayonnaise? Oh, there's a new jar set. Do I have to use this first? That's no. the rule. I can use Dukes. Oh, yeah. She's good to me like that. I ain't gonna waste that. I'm gonna put it back in there. But we got us some Dukes, and I wanna use it in this dip. Normally, the rule is you use that before you open new. Use that before you open new up. Do y'all have that rule at your house? But in this case, I'm gonna be eating this pretty straight up, because there's just a few ingredients in it. So I wanna taste that delicious mayonnaise, that tang of Dukes. Not that that's bad, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying, and Dukes is hard to get into. Let me ask y'all a question. Mama's done this my whole life, and I wonder if it's necessary or not, or if it's just a mama thing. When y'all take this paper off, and it's got this foil backing on it. For a thousand and ten years, my mama has pushed this paper in the top of that lid to give it a tighter seal. That's right. Is that necessary? It's absolutely right. Is that, do you have to, do y'all do it? I thought Dukes. Dukes with lime flavor. Ooh, Tina, I'm gonna make that right now. Uh, I don't have that, but I'm gonna make some. All right, I'm just gonna use a regular old spoon. It says three tablespoons of mayo of your choice. So I'm gonna say, my choice is Dukes, one. Now I do like JFG. Y'all got me into that, that's two. That's three. And that's good luck. Don't judge me. I don't think it has to be in there. What do y'all say? Yes. Yes. It's necessary. What are you saying? Yes. Um, they would just tell me I forgot to put this in here. I was right, it's what they're telling you. Make some powder seal. Okay, Mama, I agree with you. Questions are over. No more questions. That's the end of the question and answer portion of our show today. Okay. One tablespoon of lime juice. wonder if we'll get that out of this empty jug. And I don't have no more, so. And she don't have no more, but that's okay. I've got a blanket plan. You could use lime if you don't have lime, but I used to try to keep a little lime here. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of lime somebody juice. Somebody used a lot the other day. Yeah, but somebody's gotta have some more. Oh, I've got more than a tablespoon. Yeah, and there's still a dab left in there. Yeah, that might be just enough to get us over. I'm gonna put a little lime pepper in it too. This is Sean's lime pepper. Oh, folks, if you haven't used this, this is delicious. So in goes the sprinkle, sprinkle, I'm going to say an eighth of a teaspoon. Just because I want to sound fancy, like I know what I'm talking about, because I'm just going to shake, shake, but it's probably around, if you want to measure, an eighth of a teaspoon. This is easy too. Three tablespoons of mayo, 
one tablespoon of lime juice, a half a teaspoon of, of a chili powder. This is a teaspoon. I need a hand. Uh, teaspoons is my, my spoon that I don't know much about. Like when I'm trying to estimate, I may call that a teaspoon and it's just a half a teaspoon. Like in my mind. So I try to measure my teaspoons. My tablespoons, I pretty well got them down pat. But my teaspoons, now if you mess up like on this chili powder and you think you're putting a half and you put a whole teaspoon, you could mess up something. So my teaspoons, most of the time I, you'll see me grab a teaspoon measure because this is a half a teaspoon. But now I might call that a teaspoon in my mind if I'm just putting it on a spoon. So I have to be careful with teaspoons. This is just mixing chili powder. Did my papa use this? My mama's daddy. My mama uses it. We use Kraft. We use, uh, not Kraft, we use McCormick. We use this. Just depends on what we're making. Hot dog chili always gets mixing. Uh, bowl chili always gets uh, McCormick. Don't know why. That's what my mama does. This is a half a teaspoon. Mama, why do you do that? I don't, I use my teaspoon for, for chili, for hot dogs. Yeah. Folks, that's every ingredient it calls for, plus I put some y'all's lime pepper in it. And this is just a lime dip. And I'm thinking, I'm going to try this dip. If I don't think I want it on my pineapple, that's fine. I need a new dip. And this lime dip will be something I can go to. And uh, I've never made this particular one. So let's just mix them up in here. Now, I don't think you would need a bowl full of this. You know, I don't, you didn't see me got a big old mixing bowl. I don't think it's that kind of dip. I believe it's a dip for dipping, not for sopping. If you don't know what sopping is. Sopping is what you do with your biscuit and your gravy when you want plenty of gravy. Pot roast, you want gravy to sop your cornbread. This is not a sopping dip. This is a dipping dip. This is, you just want a little bit of flavor, a little something something to call it done. And I'm going to tell you, I saw this on the internet and this is exactly what they're saying. Because I was thinking at first, is that thousand hour? What is that for dipping that pineapple in? And then I get to reading and it said, it said it was chili lime dip. Have y'all ever had chili lime dip? Because I'm thinking with the mixture that's in here and the ingredients that I'm using in here, this would be good on tacos, I think. This would be good on nachos, I think. Do y'all agree? I'm just thinking in that direction. What do you think, Mama? I don't know what that all Well, Mama, get you a spoon and I'm going to let you taste it. If mama wasn't so picky, I'd just take it like that. But, I'm not going to. You want a spoon? Have you got a plastic spoon? No, we got dishes to wash in. We got dishes to wash in, what she said. Now, my mama, this is her crazy. I mean, this is her thing. These are clean spoons from straight out of the drawer, ready for... Eating. And she don't want me to dip it in here to taste it. She don't supposed to. Well, she don't supposed to. Oh, that's the second bite. This is the first bite. No. Any bite. You take your stirring spoon and you tap it on here. For the first bite, you're allowed to touch it. The second bite, you got to hold it way up here. Probably won't be a second bite for Mama. No. Here, Mama, come over here and taste it. Uh, I want to see you. Uh, let me have a spoon. Well, come over here, though. Y'all look at her face. Look her right in her eyes. It ain't one of my favorites. Mama, you could hurt my feelings. Well, it probably needs a spoon in it. That's Mama's code for I don't like it. Or sometimes she'll say, after it sits, it'll be all right tomorrow. <laughs> that also tomorrow. means that's some of your mess. I ain't really want that. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try this for me and you all who like a little flavor. It's tangy. It's tangy. Hmm. Lime and chili. It's tangy. I 
love it. I love it. I know what you're going to say. Mm, it has so many notes of flavor. You get the good flavor of the mayonnaise, but it don't taste like mayonnaise. But you get that good, smooth flavor. You get the hint of the the chili hits the tongue. And then, just about the time you think you're through tasting, zoom, here comes that line to the back of your tongue. This is delicious. This would be good just to dip chips in. Mmm, I can't wait to try it with the pineapple. Let's see if you want another bite, which I do. I do. You gotta hold this. You can come way up here. And you gotta have the air gap in there. And you gotta let it drip down. And never touch that spoon. That's amazing. You gonna boil those? I don't know. You didn't wash the outside of it, did you? Or did That's you enough. Wash? Just I didn't wash the outside of it. Do you wash your pineapple? I guess you should. Yeah, you should. I didn't, but I'm baking it. <coughs> and I'll be careful with this other piece and make sure it gets... I should have washed it, but I didn't. Why didn't I? Wash your watermelons, wash your cantaloupes. But I forgot wash to wash everything. my pineapple. Wash everything. Now I'm going to lay the spoon way over here so it won't be mistaken. Folks... <coughs> What a Sunday lunch, you're thinking. They're carrying on with chili lime dip on Sunday and pineapple. Mama, your pineapple's boiling. You told me put it on 20 minutes. Yeah, but it's boiling. Look at it. That's the syrup of what we're... Is it good? Is it not burning, though, is it? It's not burning. Um, you are carrying on with pineapples and carrying on and everything, John. And you're trying to say you're fixing the meat like we are. We're doing that behind the scenes. You ever seen those shows where they said, we're going to take you behind the scenes? Well, behind the scenes today, we're having meatloaf, southern style. We're having peas buttered. English peas buttered. And we're going to have mashed potatoes. But y'all have seen us do that a bunch. Well, look at that meatloaf, folks. Now, that's a 20-minute meatloaf. 20 minutes. No, no, no. How many minutes have been 20 minutes? How many minutes have been? 16. 16 minute meatloaf, folks. That's a 16 minute meatloaf. I'm going to put it in our little milk. Let's, let's wait before you do. Let's see I'm what 16 pour, minutes brings for temperature. I was going to pull the grease off. She's going to pull the grease off, put it back in there because Here, that's what she likes to do. But we're going to temp it. And just to show y'all, you can fix a whole meatloaf. I can tell that's done. I'm going to put it about halfway in, right here in the middle. 200, 210. 212. Oh. Instantly. 213. Over here. This meatloaf is done in 16 minutes. This is a fully cooked meatloaf done in 16 minutes. Yes, it's browned. Um, yes, it's delicious. It will be. We fix it. Not rubbery. 16 minutes is what this pan buys you. It buys you at least an hour because a good meatloaf that size in the oven in a loaf pan I would not want to cook it less than an hour and 15 hour and 20 minutes I just wouldn't because you've got to get the heat in there but in the microwave this cooks quick it cooks easy it cooks even we're gonna slice it here in a minute and show you it's almost as quick as a takeout pizza or a frozen pizza or a frozen dinner meatloaf but it's yours it's fresh it's made up you can literally take raw ground chuck and your and your fixings, and you can mix it, put it in your pan, and have it cooked within 30 minutes of meatloaf on any weekday night or on a Sunday lunch. Now, she's just drained all the grease off that. And she's going to put her tomato sauce over it. You'll see this magic right here. Can y'all see, Mama? And... She's gonna turn the lid the other way so it don't sit on it. And by sitting on it, she'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is just a can of tomato sauce poured over top. I put high, or not hardly high inside and poured the rest of it up around the top. Now, that lid, it's hotter, I'll touch it. That lid there, she's going to turn it the other way. She had it on grill mode 
Which when I say mode, I mean turned. So if you, you turn, turn it, it to this way for the grill. And you turn it that, that way, way for the casserole. Casserole, right. See, that grill slid, sits on the ledge of that interior of that pan. Turn it the other way, it lays all the way down on your meat and presses it down. That's the difference. So now it's not pressing down on that tomato sauce and it's gonna, she's gonna cook it for about five more minutes. Just get that tomato sauce good and hot, put on there. And that's, you're gonna have meatloaf. You could eat that right now, 16 minute meatloaf. Now people, you're saving time. Time is money, money is time. What a wonderful thing. In the old days, before the micro pro grill, that meatloaf would have been put on about eight o'clock this morning, and it would have baked on low for five hours, four hours, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, we got out till 12, 30, or that's one thirty. So it would have been in the oven that long. Pineapples are done. I am excited. Oh, they're done, they still like four. Four and a half minutes. Mom, you're going to have to explain your outfit to me. I just noticed it. What? She's wearing a, she's wearing a mask. Where, where are you going to put it on? They're done. I'm not going to close this because we've not washed it. That's a good... If you have one of them, don't close it till you wash it. Look here, folks. Look at this. This is... You're going to have to get your fork. This is what it's supposed to look like. Look at that caramelized pineapple. Take this thing Do you it. see that? That's that caramelized maple syrup. That's all that goodness. It's been in there about what, 18 minutes, Mama? Uh, I put it on 20. It's in there about 16 15, minutes. 16 minutes. Uh -huh. So this is air fried. This is a piece of parchment paper, and this is just a a um, whole pineapple. And y'all see me? I cut it up and I just done it in three. Um, slices, and this is just two of them. This is two cups for of that pineapple, and then, then this little bit of lime sauce. Now, I don't know, Mama won't eat this part, but I'm gonna try it with a dip uh, of this in it because this is so good. Um, but I don't know if this would be like more for the side dish because it says you can use it for a side or dessert. But over here's the sweetness, and here's the tartness. So if you want to use it for a side dish, I'm sure this this uh, lime sauce, lime dip, chili lime dip is going to be what will make it more of a meal kind of thing. Uh, but that right there is pure dessert. That's like, and, and I don't know, I'm not a I'm not a health expert, but like if I were craving pineapple upside down cake and didn't want to commit to a whole cake and think, boy, that's a lot of carbs and a lot of stuff. You've got a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit of butter. But other than that, this is not terrible. This would be a sweet tooth craving satisfier. Maybe for a pineapple upside down cake. We're gonna, I'm not tasted of it. I'm going to taste it and see. But this would have to be something that would be better than making a cake or it, it, am I wrong? Some of y'all out there tell me. Would this not be a sweet treat that would be just a touch of something without going overboard. Well, they are a drop left in there, Mom didn't believe me? She didn't believe me. I'm not sure it was um, So I'm excited to have that for dessert today. And even though Mama won't eat it with um, this chili dip, it'll still be a delicious meal. Might be good with chips, but I don't think I want it with China. Mama says this would be good. This dip would be good with chips. It'd also be good with tacos. And I'll tell you something it would be delicious with. I just had a flash. Do you ever get a news flash come across your brain and it says, this just in. And you, Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's what just happened. That's what just happened to me. What would that taste like on fish tacos? That's going to be on some fish tacos. Do y'all ever make fish tacos? Let me tell you what I do. And I'll make them for y'all one night. I buy those Mrs. or Gordon's or somebody's. Mrs. Paul's. 
Mrs. Paul's fish sticks, the big ones that are about that wide at the top and they narrow down. I buy those and I put them in the air fryer and I spritz a little bit of canola oil on them. Not canola oil. Who's telling the story, John? Avocado oil. He makes me so mad sometimes he can't get nothing right. Avocado oil on them, because y'all told me to. And I fry them in there good and then I just get me some soft shell tacos and I put my lettuce and my tomato and my, and I've been using like tartar sauce or some kind of, of um, I'll mix up some chipotle sauce or something and I'll have that sometimes just as a fish taco. If you don't like fish tacos, don't try it because it's a fish taco. Uh, but I it's, wouldn't be trying it. Mama don't eat them. The reason I'm not showing them to y'all yet because it's something I do like on a quick lunch or something just for me because Mama don't eat fish tacos. I don't know why. I bet if it was a catfish taco with french fries on it, she'd eat it. No. Anyhow, it's delicious. So this right here will be my new fish taco dip. And it's gonna be so quick and easy to make. I mean, y'all see me make it here and talking to y'all a mile a minute. But what if you're just making it home for yourself right quick? Look at this neat loaf. That is delicious, mama. That's picture perfect. We need to take a picture of that and put it on your cookbook. Uh -huh. <sighs> Mama said, did you say cookbook? I've been trying to get her into a cookbook, folks. I really am. We're not working on one yet. We're working on it, but we're not, you know, like, we've not actively started. But I've got some recipes. I know what the layout I want. Pour that off, I'm pouring Don't do it, Mama. We'll just cut around it. Um, but I want to do a cookbook. And I'll tell you why I want to do a cookbook. I know what y'all are saying, because you can sell it, John, and make money. That's not really the reason I want to do the cookbook. I mean, I want to sell it, but I want my mama's recipes in print. I want her to have a book out there that's got her name on it, her fit, her picture, and I want her to have uh, her recipes out there in print. I just think that would be such an honor uh, and, and just something that she would always have out there to be a published cookbook person because I love her stuff and I've loved it for years and I want it for her and she's like oh we won't fool with that I'm like mama we do have the church cookbook and we love that but y'all have been so gracious and so wonderful to order it we're not getting as many orders now which that's fine that's I understand that trust me and you can only I buy apologize. them I apologize I'm a little behind I'm, I'm the last ones out because I'm just getting a few if we do one for coffee time, it will probably be, we'll do it through Amazon or something of that nature, pre-order, because mama just can't be lugging cookbooks to the, to the post office and everything. So we would probably do something like that. But we are wanting to look into it. Some of my friends have done them. You all know them. You know, mama Sue is on her third one. I've got all three of them. Um, I think Kimmy's from Southern, is Kimmy Southern Kitchen. I think she's getting ready to do one. She had a beautiful picture the other day. So that was her cookbook cover. Uh, or going to be one of them, maybe. Anyhow, there's just so many out there. Annie's got some. Missy's got one. Now, Missy then hers through Amazon. I think that may be the way I would go because that way they take care of the shipping and all that because Mama has done our church cookbook. I started out helping her. And y'all know she's hard to help. She just don't like it. But she said, no, here. And I would sign. You know, I sign them when it's my turn to sign. And then she signs them. And uh, if y'all ask for that. But it's a lot of work. Now, Mama is retired from the school system. And she has enjoyed it. She has enjoyed it. But it's been a full-time 45, 50-hour week job. I mean, no joke. Uh, the time you do the labels, and we do everything by hand. We don't do anything but computer. If you've gotten our books, you've seen they're handwritten. They the the envelopes are, and we, I did get um uh, one of the label maker companies and got a little return label, so she didn't have to write that every time. But other than that, it's all handwritten, and Mama keeps up with every bit of it on paper and pencil, and she takes care of the banking with it and all everything that we get from it goes directly deposit into the church account um so she's she's the church treasurer so she has to take care of all that as well um so many times i said you shouldn't say mom was the church treasurer 
Uh, we don't keep any money here, so no. get that out of your head. Mama's very strict on that. Um, feel me if somebody got it. Mama's very picky about everything, not just cooking. So um, she basically keeps the books, the money's dealt with differently. Um, so that's a good thing. Mama, show them what you're doing. Oh, this is my job. She's done my job. What was that? That was a clean spoon. You handed me that for something, and I didn't use it. I did. Yeah, I don't remember what you handed it to me. I don't know. Either. Probably to stir the pineapple. Probably was. Mm-hmm. I just used that little spoon. Look, now while I've been filling around with pineapple, Mama's made a whole lunch. There's mashed potatoes that she's finishing up, and that beautiful meatloaf made in the micro-pro grill from Tupperware, peas, and mashed potatoes. And the reason I say... The Micro Pro Grill from Tupperware is every time we cook in this, I get messages and people ask, what's that thing y'all cooked the meatloaf in the microwave in? Or what is that thing y'all cooked in the It pork looks chops? like metal around the side, but it goes in the microwave. It goes in the microwave. The dish rag don't. Let me move that. But look how pretty. Now, this is super simple, folks. This is super simple lunch. But it's super delicious, too. I didn't make no rolls. We ready. don't need rolls. We're, we got mashed potatoes. We're trying to do better. We really are. Yeah. Yeah, John, you're trying to do better, and you just put uh, pineapples and sugar for your dessert. But that's going to be good, and something not going much. And I'm drinking the coffee black, and, you know, meatloaf, that's good for you. Just one little can of tomato sauce on it. Oh, I put bread in it, though. And she put bread in it, so we can get rolls, too. Uh, is your mom a retired school teacher? I just love her. No, oh. Tanya, she is retired from the cafeteria. She was the Mino cafeteria lady. <laughs> she was manager for 20 years? 10 years. 10 years. Worked for she 30. worked in the cafeteria for 30 years. She managed for 10 years. The last 10 years. Yeah. And um, she's cooked her whole life. She's fed every kid in this city um, and the country. She's fed everybody. Uh, we mm -hmm. go to the store or we go out somewhere and sometimes people recognize us as John and Mama from Coffee Time and we love it. We don't care a bit for y'all. Sometimes you're a little hesitant and they'll say, I'm, are you so, yeah, we know that's fine. We, we don't mind it all for y'all to speak to us. Uh, we love it in fact, but a lot of times it's, aren't you, aren't you Miss Tootsie? Or my lunch lady, did I say. Or didn't you used to cook my lunch every day? So, Mama gets recognized all the time for being a lunch lady. But here's the thing. It's kind of like you nurses and home health folks. And they don't recognize her out of uniform. Because for years, she wore a white uniform with an apron. So, when they see her out in her red shirts and all that, they're like, you look familiar. But they don't recognize her because she's out of uniform. And uh, did you she say, yep, I remember you. Or sometimes she'll say, now, who were you? And... Uh, they forget I worked with them when they was little, and uh, I haven't changed really except for the old, but they've changed a whole lot since they were tiny. I you want peach tea or regular Do I want peach tea? Or regular tea. Do I want peach tea? I guess you want peach tea. Boy, do I ever. It's early in the day and I can drink because it does have caffeine. And it only comes in a gallon size right now. And it's supposed to be back in stock by in May. So if y'all have not tried it, try it. It's delicious. I haven't met anybody who tried it much that, that doesn't like it, love it, want some more of it. So it's good. It's good. It really is good. It's not as good as coffee. It is good. <laughs> I'm addicted to coffee. I don't care. I was watching a thing the other night, and I was asking people, how many cups of coffee you had? It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. Some people had six, some people had eight. Some people had had shots of coffee, you know, espresso. It made me feel good about myself. Don't you just, don't you find sometimes when you hear other people whose addictions are worse than yours, you think, well, they're making it. And it gave me something to strive for. <laughs> if they've had six or eight cups before 10 o'clock in the morning, then I've had probably, let me, I'll count it up. I get up in the morning, I always have a cup. That's one. And then I have another one. Then I go to work and I'll have another one. By 10 o'clock, I've had four cups. On the average. 
And that's a lot. But they was having six and eight, those folks was, and shots of espresso. They was drinking a lot of it. But I understand. So, coffee's not a bad thing, is it? No, I think it's healthy for you. It's what the doctors say. Nola told us we, we could make payments like a... Uh, I don't know what y'all are talking about making payments. You don't have to make any payments here. Uh, Nola. Sean, I am posting the meatloaf recipe. Thank you, Miss Nola. Folks, I don't know what payments you're talking about. We don't have payments. We don't, y'all don't have to do any of that stuff. Mama looks so nice today. Hi to both of you from California. Well, hello, Elizabeth from California. Hey Susan, how are you? How much is the meatloaf painting? Charlotte, I'm afraid to say. Mama, it's, do you know? It's went up, I can't remember. I should looked at it yesterday. It's, a, it's over two hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh but now they do have it on sale sometime and when we got this one it wasn't that much. So they did go up on them. Yeah, they went uh, up lately. But and that's the reason I said they're expensive. They are. Um would I have bought one maybe just like because somebody suggested it? Probably not. I said, oh, I can make it without it. But now that I've had one, if something happened to this one, I'd want another one. Because like I said, a 15, 16 minute meatloaf is quick. I will post the link and you can find them in the, back, in the catalog. And yes, we should know prices, but we don't. Learn the prices because they change because one month they're on sale, the next month they're not. Normally they do put them on sale at least once a year. And when they do, I tell y'all about it. Um, and that's the reason I said I'm not really trying to sell these ones today because they're not on sale. But when you catch them on sale again, that's if it's in your budget, consider it. Uh, it's, I don't know how to, people often say, what's your favorite type of wire? Well, Mama's favorite type of wire is probably the chopper because she can do all of her garden stuff. And the chopper is on sale for $25 this month if you already getting $100. Now, what kind of sells that? I know. But if you're already getting some bowls, you're already getting some stuff for $25 to get a, a $75, $80 chopper is a good deal. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, so it, they do have it on sale. Uh, Mama had an event yesterday. I went live with it. A lot of people was asking at the event, uh, is Tupperware going out of business? No. Uh, we have been assured. Now, I can only tell you what I've been told. And we've been told by our business leaders, and they've been told by the president of Tupperware. We're not going out of business. That's the media thing that got out. Keep on keeping on. We are here, uh, and the party is still alive. Is what they're saying. The party is still... Because Tupperware is famous for their parties. Uh, the party is still alive. And that's what they're telling us. So, unless they're just telling us that, and I don't know why in the world they would, because if they want their products sold out so we could... So they could move on. They would want their consultants to be getting in and say, look, move this stuff out so we don't get stuck with a lot of it. Instead of that, they're making more. They're doing more. They're adding more. So, they're not looking like they're going nowhere to me. And the... In the the, we had a major meeting, like a nationwide meeting, two Saturdays ago. And like it was four hours. It was a celebration thing. Spring so for Fest. One. Spring Fest. So for four hours, all they talked about was the future. All they talked about was the upcoming products and coming in May and coming in June and coming next fall and hopefully next year at this time. Why would they waste it all that time? So I don't believe they're going anywhere. Know you know, that. so we trust in that, and we're just keeping on, keeping on, and we're even asking you all, join us, come and be a consultant, join Mama's yeah. part, join Mama's group. I read last night, somebody asked about that, and I can't think of the name now. If you're wanting to know, all you have to do is go to the link below here, and touch on Mama's link for the Tupperware. There's three lines up here at the top, right here, and it'll be like the hamburger symbol, you know, the three lines. Touch that, and it'll take you into the menu where you can shop or join us. Hit join us, and I posted last night, and I'll post it again today in today's comments. Two kits that are on sale this month that are phenomenal that you can get your business started with. This is your business. You're not working for Mama. You're not working really no. for Tupperware. 
You're a consultant of Tupperware, and they give you your own business. You get a website. It's amazing. And then you get a percentage of your sales, plus you get a discount on what you buy, and you can make as much money as you want to work for. Some people, this is all they do. This is their only job. They make this their seven-day-a-week job. And they provide for their family, and, you know, it's a real job. So it's, it, it, if you want a side job, maybe you already have a job, but you think, huh, you know, Christmas will be here in just a few months. Cause it's it's already, like everything else. What you put in, it's what you get out. You don't put much in it, you won't get much out of it. Christmas is coming up. You may be like, Mama, you may be living on retirement. You've done, done your due, but you think, I wish I had something to do. I'd like to meet with some people every once in a while. And there's ladies and men both in it. Oh, um, yeah. I like to have a group of people I can meet with and have a joint effort and do something. Mama loves that part. That's her favorite part is the meetings and the greetings. And our director, Maria, is just wonderful. Yeah. You She's all met great. her yesterday on the video. She's if you haven't already met her. And her and Mama do these events. I don't do the events. Now, I showed up yesterday. Just Hello. long enough to film. <laughs> Tell the truth. I do all the talking on here because Mama don't like that. But at the events, Mama does the talking, and Maria does the talking because it's one-on-one. -on -one. Mama don't mind that she'll talk all day long to you about it. But on here, she says, I get all tongue-tied, or I'll get it messed up. She just don't let the pressure of it do No, anymore. I sure don't. Let's bless it, Mama. Your food's getting cold. No. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. And dear Lord, we just pray for the nourishment of our body with it. Dear Lord, just be with us. Watch over us. Lead and direct us. Be with each and every person joined here with us today. Be with all the prayer requests, so spoken and unspoken, dear Lord. We just pray for a hedge protection around each and every child, dear Lord, in each and every situation. And dear Lord, we just pray all these things in your wonderful blessed name. Amen and amen. amen. Now, y'all have seen me eat meatloaf before, and peas, and mashed potatoes. And I guarantee you, that's just like downtown. Look at that. I guarantee it's absolutely delicious. But one thing you've never seen me do is eat a caramelized pineapple that I just made today in the air fryer and dip it in some chili lime sauce. So that's why I'm gonna let you see what we're gonna do today. So I'm going to straight to dessert. And then we're gonna get off and leave y'all alone, I promise. Mama, are you ready for this? Oh yeah. So I'm gonna Not give Mama the lime sauce. <laughs> so 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 ready to try new things she is. All right, Mama, I'm going to let you have that one. Now, I'm going to try a bite. Uh, yes, I'm eating with my hands because I ain't going to put this on my meatloaf plate. Okay. Mm. That's very good. Oh, my I goodness. I don't think I want lime sauce on it. Oh, my goodness. What does that taste like? I don't know. It tastes like... Pineapple and cinnamon and maple and kind of like my apple cake with pineapples in it or something. It's delicious. And this, I'm going to go ahead and say it because it's the truth, be great over ice cream. These pineapple chunks, little vanilla ice cream. Mm. Try this, folks. It's too simple not to try. That's what it turned out. Look at it. I didn't burn it. Mama started it as well. But now, I get to try too, Mama. You want another plain one? No, not one. No. Do you want to try just a tinge no, a little bit? No, I've tried the dip by itself. The pineapples are delicious that I'm way. I'm going to try the dip. I'm thinking this is going to add another level of something to it. Tangy. Now, I'm not eating off none of this, so don't get it sideways. There it is. Let's try it. I'm not going to eat it yet. Do you want to smell of it? No. It's all yours, baby. It's completely different. Mom, I promise you. It's delicious. I want you to try it. Oh. Come on now. There's one little pineapple and one dot of this. Because, Mama, I know if you tell them it's okay, 
They're going to know how good it really is. I'm going to say okay. They're going to tell you how good it really is. Okay. So there's just a bite of it. Can y'all see her? Well, actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> actually, it changed, didn't it? Yeah. And it's, it takes away the sweetness of the cinnamon sugar. And you don't taste the strong, the lime. Strong enough like it And it turned into what? Like another flavor. flavor. But it's good together, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't have your problem. High five, Mama. Uh -oh. You did good today. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Folks, it really does. It changes the flavor. I mean, we wouldn't tell you that if it wasn't true. It changes the flavor. But that with this together, mm -hmm. it's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. But I'm going to use that chili lime sauce for my fish tacos, my nachos, all that stuff. It's a good little thing to have in my arsenal of tricks. This is delicious. That's delicious. I say thumbs up. Thank you, Amy, for sharing that. That is outstanding. I'm going to buy me another first pineapple if they've got them. I've got to go back to the store. Get me another pineapple. Folks, Mama, you got anything to add today? No, we've done good, I think. We've done good. We're going to get a new pineapple dish yesterday. Yeah, food. yeah. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. And this, like I said, this is two separate things, but it tastes great together. Try this just with some fish tacos or some, I mean, that is a delicious dip. Now we'll post those recipes for y'all. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. Enjoy your day. It's an AB day here. It's absolutely beautiful. The sun's shining. There's a little breeze. It's not too hot. It'll be a good day to get out and take a walk today. Get out and take the dogs, the fur babies, the fur kittens, whatever you take out. Enjoy your day. Get out with the kids. Do what you want to. I have to get out with you. Because I'm a kid. <laughs> Mama, I might take you for a ride that you know is around the neighborhood. Oh, well. Mama likes to see if he has planted a flower that she's not good to look at. Or maybe put up a fence or a new mailbox. I'm nosy rosy, is that what they say? <laughs> you just like to see the beauty. You just like to, I mean, really and truly, you got to think about it. If your neighbors are planting flowers and they're putting up fences and they're putting up mailbox, they're wanting people to look at it. That's the reason they're beautifying their place. So it's our obligation to get out and look. Yesterday, when I come back from my event, I was talking about the mountains, the way the sun was hitting part of it. The beautiful colors of spring. It was the, the different shades of green, the darkness, lightness. Love of it. it. And then the clouds was the same way. I said some of the clouds just looked like big piles of snow, the way the sun was hitting. They were beautiful, and the mountains was beautiful. Mama's outfit today, this is her apron, but she's got this vest on. Mama, I didn't realize she's wearing a vest today. I've seen you all morning. I, I know, know it. You didn't look at me. I did look at you, but I really wasn't paying attention to the whole outfit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.